Okay, ready? We're pointing to you live here at the base of the CN Tower with Tito Eddie and Tita Monet during a picnic. It's live from last week. Episode, Episode 195. 195. Let's go! my fellow jaywalkers to another episode of laugh from last week hope last week has served you well just a quick shameless plug before we go on I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel so guys even on my several days off i'm still having a little bit of trouble sleeping going to bed late but still waking up early recording less than three hours of sleep last night but i'm thinking it's because i'm just too excited for all the things that i got planned for today so recalling this quote that i made just last week but now going back to the topic that the wife isn't at home to supervise my daily activities today i went absolutely nuts going around the gta doing several facebook marketplace slash groupon purchases but although feeling physically sore from all the beach volleyball activities I did over the weekend, as well as bad body mechanics moving around those Mini Cooper winter tires yesterday that resulted in some sore back pain, that couldn't stop me from doing my Facebook Marketplace adventures for today. With the first stop being here in Scarborough, Landing this costume that I've had my eye on for the past several Halloweens. Playing around with this thing. Then going all the way to Ajax, literally across the street from where I bought this Facebook Marketplace Club for the Mini. Being inspired of the event of his return to WWE when we were watching the SummerSlam pay-per-view a couple months ago. the Roman Reigns original Tribal Chief shirt that he was wearing at that time. Then going in rush hour traffic all the way across town to Brampton to pick up this Facebook Marketplace item. The new Mini Cooper's dash cam that I plan to install sometime soon. Then heading south to the border of Mississauga to redeem this Groupon that I bought a while back. Going to the local business of Tintstar in Saga to get the Mini Cooper tinted as a surprise for the wife before she comes back from her trip to the Philippines next week. With me just working on some Laugh From Last Week video in the front office while the makeover was in the process. With some videos of how the Mini had looked before to how it looks now with it's new tints. Wow. Like, I don't even recognize her anymore. <laughs> Are you sure it's the same car? <laughs> and guys, in appreciation, I was able to take a quick video with the tint specialist, Andy. Yo, this is the man with the masterpiece work. Magic hands, Andy from Tintstar. Yo, go check him out. That's you, man. <laughs> Who actually gave me a great deal on the upgraded ceramic dark tints. I would definitely recommend him and Tint Star in Mississauga with my 5 star review for my great experience. I next traveled all the way back to Scarborough to Bridalwood Mall for this last Facebook Marketplace ad for the day to get a discounted $10 micro SD card that I will use for the dash cam that I had bought a little earlier. But yeah, before resting up for more fun events that I have planned for tomorrow, 
We just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends who is not just a living legend on the beach, but also has some skills in the indoor game as well. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Ken. Happy birthday, Ken. We also got a birthday shout out to the one and only cousin-in-law who we not only celebrated blowing bubbles with, but also pop bottles with at their party last weekend. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Atisha. Happy birthday, Atisha. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. After catching the beautiful sunset to the west here at the condo last night, I had passed out but only slept for about six hours. Getting up way early before the sunrise as you guys can see here. So instead of going back to sleep, in the dark I just started to work on some live from last week videos for the time being. Until I saw the sun come out and doing what I did just last week. I had nobody telling me I wasn't allowed to celebrate by eating some birthday cake for breakfast this morning. This week I also had nobody telling me that I wasn't allowed to eat this cake for breakfast. I then afterwards did something that has sort of been a weekly ritual recently going back to this crazy bins store on lawrence thinking that i'd just spend only 15 minutes here and ending up spending more than two hours roaming for treasures on this what is one dollar wednesday coming out with this bag of a haul for only ten dollars plus tax and guys, today's purchases included a shaker bottle for drinks, this random card game that I hope to play at a party sometime, a new wallet with a money clip and air tag holder, some Audi tire valve caps for the brother-in-law, this Stray Kids K-pop t-shirt, an extra iPhone USB charging cable, a new neon LED Uber delivery sign, of which I later installed and made sure it worked for the Mini. This soda can cover that I've always wanted to get. Some Christmas keychains that I plan to give to some of my co-workers during the holidays. And last but not least, this long distance disc golf frisbee driver. But next, unfortunately, also earlier in the day, after driving for a little bit, I saw this fun little light appear on the dashboard. So after notifying my car mechanic buddy, Cami Sue, I decided to surprise him a little bit by appearing to him in one of my purchases that I made just yesterday. <laughs> what does it look like? How does it look like? Oh, I might as well get on. <laughs> <laughs> then, after pulling over for him to check out the car and play with my newly installed water valve handle that's on the dash, turning up the water. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> we looked up the problem on the scanner for it to be only a very small leak. So guys, he recommended me to do this. So alcohol swab around the blue seal, a couple of them. Yeah, clean, clean the, the blue rubber gasket here. Okay. You take a few more alcohol swabs and you clean inside the gasket here. Okay. All around any metal part that seals against the gas cap. Okay. And in return, I decided to give another surprise for him that will encourage us to go play some Frisbee golf again later this year. And bloop, surprise. Whoa. What? Yeah, cheers. No way. Yeah, man. So it will incentivize us to go disc golfing, man. Nice. Yeah. Yes, we got, we got planned it. 
And afterwards, parting ways in order for me to go to the local Fairview Mall to kill time for a little bit and work on some live from last week videos in the food court. I traveled all the way back to downtown to pick up the former coworker, Sydney, after her day shift for her first ride in the new mini carpool 2.0. Woo, first time in the mini carpool 2.0, Sydney! <laughs> to go to this Denny's location in the junction area to meet up with these guys who I just saw a couple nights back to celebrate with these large feasts of food in front of us, my other former coworker, Robert's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Robert. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Okay, make a wish and blow them out. Oh, there you go. Oh my Happy birthday, Robert. And guys, while we're still on the topic of birthdays, we quickly have birthday greetings to a couple of my childhood friends, including Melissa. Happy birthday, Missy. And also to her brother, Justin. Happy birthday, Perry. And another birthday greeting to one of my other childhood friends, Christian. Happy birthday, Christian. We next got a birthday greeting to another childhood friend of mine who I remember playing house league soccer with on a team, also with her sister. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Rebecca. Happy birthday, Becky. As well as an RT friend who I remember being co-workers with at the hospital and playing beach volleyball with in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Keddy. Happy birthday, Keddy. And last but not least, a birthday greeting to the one and only former co-worker who we just celebrated his birthday, Denny's Breakfast, this evening. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Rob. Happy birthday, Robert. I'm hoping that everybody has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. This morning, after thinking I got an okay sleep just after resting for about six hours, I was actually able to pass out again to achieve an almost eight hour rest. Which guys, I'm definitely gonna need every little bit as later on, I'm going in for my first of a scheduled two night shifts tonight. Anyhow, continuing with what I did last week, there's still nobody at home to tell me what to do and that I couldn't eat this birthday cake for breakfast. But yeah, one piece of upsetting news that I actually did receive today was when trying to operate the TV in the living room, it seemed like it just wanted to stay frozen and just didn't want to work anymore. Man, yo, I think my TV is broken. Boom. But luckily guys, as I was just shooting this segment a couple seconds ago, this is what happened. Oh my gosh, it's actually working! Oh, look at it go, look at it go! <laughs> but yeah, anyways, continuing with some other happy news. We'll just do a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends that I made during our F car days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Michael. Happy birthday, Michael. And we've got a birthday shout out to one of my world traveler friends who you guys remember I attended Raptors games with in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to Hannah Lee. Happy birthday, Hannah Lee. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. After another busy shift last night, 
I found solace passing this nice view on my commute home where these wispy clouds flew low over the downtown core. Then after getting in a semi-decent post-shift nap, I'm just chilling in the condo in between shifts, checking out the weigh-ins for a couple of boxing matches that I'm very hopeful to watch with and reunite with my buddy Ronnie in Saga tomorrow night. So yeah, before that, prior to going in for my second night shift, later on, we just have quick birthday greetings to one of my childhood friends who I remember playing house league soccer with back on the DQ team. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Kaylee. Happy birthday, Kaylee. And we got a birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball slash indoor volleyball friends who I can't wait to play alongside with this coming indoor season. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Joanne. Happy birthday, Joanne. I'm hoping that everybody who has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So guys, last night's night shift was yet another busy one. One that my coworker, Nat, in her many years of experience, could tell me was one of the busiest that she has ever worked. Now post shift once getting home, recalling this scene from last week's episode, before remembering that our Google Home had this problem. Hey Google. Your Google Home isn't set up yet. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. After charming and chatting up the Google Home for a little bit, this is what happened. Hey Google. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. I hope you're doing well too. Yeah! <laughs> Google Home works again! You're welcome, wife. So after that bit of good news, things had evened out a little bit as when I tried my hardest to get in my post-night shift sleep, I just couldn't pass out because I was too excited to hang out with this guy. Check out the newest special guest in the mini carpool, Tito Guillermo. <laughs> so after being hyped up driving the mini this morning, opening up a package that I forgot I had in the back of my closet. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! And doing a quick Facebook Marketplace pickup. A couple of these Lego floral puzzles to do as a surprise for the wife when she comes home from her trip. And visiting this place for the first time in several months. I took my Tito to Pacific Mall in Markham for his First time here, Pacific Mall. Welcome, Tito. Welcome. <laughs> Checking out several stores with model cars that we both enjoyed looking at before going to Honey Bear to grab a couple of bubble teas, which in recent memory are the most affordable. Cheersing with him for a great day out and enjoying this delicious dim sum food in the food court of the mall. But guys, remembering how I was excited to see my buddy Ronnie today, but now apologizing to him because I couldn't make my way more than an hour and a half in traffic to Hamilton where we were supposed to catch the Canelo fight together. And with me not sleeping at all post night shift, I'm believing it's best that I stay home and not drive under these conditions and just stay home at the condo to watch some prelims of the UFC pay-per-view that is set for later tonight and just focus on trying to rest and catch up on all the sleep that I've lost. 
So, kicking off today's segment, we have a quick birthday shout out to one of my childhood best friends who you guys know has made several cameos in previous Live From Last Week episodes. This birthday shout out goes out to you Antoine. Happy birthday, Twan. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So yeah, last night, instead of sleeping early, when I had the chance, I decided to break out that Cherry Blossom Lego set that I'm gifting for the wife and started to work on this baby little by little until two hours had flown by. Finally finishing up this gift for her at around the early hour of 1 a.m. Then, although I was at least a couple of days behind on sleep, I woke up after less than five hours after I initially passed out to go to the early 7.30 a.m. Sunday Catholic Mass at the St. Rose of Lima Parish before recalling the couple of times that I went just last week and using this coupon online getting another box of Papa John's Pizza, headed downtown to witness this pedal pub on the street. Yo, Dayo, is that you? Yo, Dayo! Dayo! Then going through this area for the first time since I took my wedding photos from my first look, then meeting up with the one and only Tito Eddie and Tita Mone. Tito Eddie and Tita Mone. Hello. Let's go for a picnic. Yeah. yeah. To have a nice little quick lunch picnic under the CN Tower. He's going. We next had an attempt to shoot this week's Laugh from Last Week episode 195's opening segment. We're going to you live here at the base of the CN Tower with Tito Eddie and Tito Money for a picnic. Episode 195. For a picnic, it's live from last week. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Prior to getting some ice cream inside the stadium. Cheers, Mom and Dad! and catching the Blue Jays game versus the St. Louis Cardinals earlier today. And guys, with a pretty entertaining time that we had, not just with the on the field play, but also just spending quality time with these guys, watching where I got my dance moves from, we got to watch the little Junior Jays fans run the bases after the game while witnessing this rare sight of watching the Sky Dome slash Rogers Center roof close. But now, wrapping it up for the day, I'm gonna head back to the condo to try to catch up on some rest as we have yet another busy day planned and in store for tomorrow. After witnessing this beautiful sunset to the west of the condo last night, I had an early night passing out around 9.30 in the evening, but woke up prior to the sunrise before 6 a.m. But not wearing my watch last night, we have absolutely no record of this amazing more than eight hour sleep. So I decided to be productive editing my live from last week videos this early, doing some vacuuming, folding some more scrub laundry, loading the dishwasher and doing some dishes, clean a little bit of the washroom, and watering the wife's plants while she's still away before looking inside the fridge to see what needed to be 
taken out and literally cleaning this baby inside and out, shelf by shelf until it was thoroughly cleaned for the wife's arrival tomorrow. Then, recalling that little Lego project that I had, I put together this arrangement of little cherry blossoms in a pot of rocks with the addition of this Hello Kitty collectible right here and this nice little welcoming I miss you card all set up for when the wife comes home tomorrow evening. And after I had set up that gift, I had a couple of my cousins once again come over for another nice little session of tennis at the condo. But yeah guys, right after our tennis session was done, my busy day had continued as I was off to downtown to help out sub in indoor volleyball for my friend Helen's team. Where when I started to record a video of me playing setter for this team, my phone unfortunately ran out of storage space. But on a good note, and while we're still on the topic of volleyball we have a birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends who is a living legend at the beaches of ash bridges this birthday shout out goes out to you mark happy birthday mark and we got a birthday greeting to one of the biggest fans of bubble guns in recent history with this birthday shout out going out to the best woman at my wedding this birthday shout out goes out to you nika happy birthday little sis I'm hoping that everybody has their birthdays today, are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And well, with that guys, we'll wrap up this week's busy and eventful Live From Last Week episode. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.